Oh my god! Ooh. Hi everybody! I want to show you guys something that I've been doing for the past months. Uh, it's taken a while. I had like an injury through my shoulder. I was supposed to move like this trash can and then I fell and tried to like save, the, save me from falling by holding on to the trash can and this got like tugged. So the muscle in here have had to heal for uh, two months. <sighs> now I am back to playing the violin. I got a um, violin. Um, when was it? Six months ago, maybe? I recorded me unboxing this violin, so I'm going to show you guys that first. And uh, yeah, yes, I have BTS on my wall. I have. Uh, I live with two armies, uh, so of course, I have been introduced to this universe. Um, and if you don't know what armies is, it's basically the fans of BTS. And now I have a poster. Look at what I got in the mail! Ah! It's in here! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa, look at this guys! I do have plans to remove all the electronics in This is gonna look so cool when I'm done with it. So uh, I don't know if this is gonna be comfortable, but I mean it looks quite cool with this violin. It's a really cheap violin from eBay. I bought it uh, just to decorate and have like as a practice violin because I didn't imagine it was going to be a good violin at all. Luckily it is playable and works as a practice violin. When I first got the violin I was thinking about making it an ice team and but I also thought about putting on like crystals and I wasn't sure what to uh, do with the violin and I ended up changing the design. A lot so I'm going to show you all the designs uh, from like the great order how I started and what is the end result I had this holographic material that I think was really cool um, that I cut up and I can actually put inside of the violin because uh, I removed all the electronics because it didn't work not surprising it looks really cool um, except for that the holographic material looked really blue in some angles, and in some angles it looked really pretty, like this white, uh, purplish shade. The blue sort of looked like the sky, so I was thinking about putting cotton in the violin and making it look like a um, pretty sky, like a galaxy sort of inside the violin, and I think I managed to make it really cool, but it looked really weird <laughs> when I put like a black um, background on the violin. like. The, the blue and the, 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 the cotton, it didn't look good at all. And then I tried to just put a lot of rhinestones just to make, to add more detail. I also tried this time where I just made holes in this holographic material and light up from behind so that it would look like stars and it looked quite good, uh, but it didn't look good when I lighted it up and had all these rhinestones on the front. Uh, it made like this really sh like shadow, it looked messy, it wasn't good at all. So I decided to go for a different approach. So I wanted to make the violin look like it was made of ice, which was my first idea, which I should have gone for at the beginning. There's been so much glue because I tried to stick on the freaking rhinestones. I really needed a really strong like spray, like things to remove the glue because I was like stuck. I couldn't wash it off. But the material of the tailpiece did not hold. <laughs> The tailpiece broke into two and it flew with the strings. I tried to go into the rescue and like try to rinse off all the stuff and I realized it was just a tailpiece uh, material. That was a different kind of plastic that didn't, they couldn't take that kind of uh, like spray. It was too strong. So the plastic started to break because of it. I tried to glue the tailpiece back together. 
uh, and it did not work. I couldn't tune the violin because the glue was like stretching. And so I realized I had to find a new tailpiece. I found the old one that I didn't use and it wasn't transparent, but I was like trying to figure out, okay, I can probably paint it first, like put like a layer of like color and then I just dabbed it with um, a brush with white paint and that made a frozen look on it. I basically took super glue to form the ice steps and I had a light chain that was like a snow crystal that I didn't use anymore and took the snow crystals off and put one inside of the violin and one outside. I want to show you guys how it looks now. Oh, look at it! Oh my god! Um, so I feel like it looks like it's been in a blizzard, like a storm, like... I didn't do anything to the scroll. I didn't want to mess this up because <laughs> it looks so pretty. Inside I have this fabric um, that is like transparent. Maybe you can see it more clearly there. And also I have a light. Now it's not, uh, really bright so maybe you can't see it. Here you can see the crystal inside that I barely fit and a crystal on top. The reason why I have this on I'm used that are also decorated to fit the thing uh, it's because the violin sounds terrible without a mute if you have a violin that is bad like a cheap violin put a mute on it and it will actually sound better you may notice that is not in the spot there's a bridge that is supposed to be reason being this one is, doesn't work as well I can tighten it so the fabric sort of there it goes up right to the bridge. Uh, if I were to move this back, uh, I couldn't play the violin because the fabric would be on this part. I'm gonna have to fix this, try to move this back and up so that I can put it in the right position. I had like so much glue residue on this because I tried to attach different things and I couldn't let get the glue residue off. So I decided to make this icy pattern with super glue. If you go up close, you can see it's glue, but um, it's, uh, I don't know, I think it looks icy. And if you're wondering if these are gonna fall off, they're not. It's like strong. <laughs> like the, um, the entire violin can rest this weight on it and it won't break. Some of them may bend a little bit, but it's like, it doesn't, doesn't affect it at all. Almost forgot I have a matching bow. <laughs> Looky. So tried to make it look frozen as well. I had to take clear nail polish on like the surface because after the amount of glue, the surface had become matte and it didn't look good. So that's like how I made it shiny again. I want to give you a comparison uh, of the violin with and without the mute. It's louder and it's more squeechier. <laughs> It's a, it's a softer sound, it's a lower volume. I'm going to change this uh, because it's not that comfortable to play with. It's gonna go with my usual one. Now it's the right height. A lot more comfortable.
It is now a little darker, so now I'm gonna test out the light so you can see it properly. Ooh! It's cool that the light does go through the glue and it makes the glue stand out even more. So that was my uh, uh, crystal ice wizard violin. Um, I now have five violins in my collection. Uh, if you count the little one, I have six violins. There's a walk. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.